by the opportunity to address such a distinguished audience. Ladies and gentlemen, just allow me to give a brief about KEPSA for the sake of some of our partners who may perhaps not be very much aware of what we do. KEPSA is the umbrella apex body of the private sector in Kenya that brings together the local and foreign business associations, federations, chapters of commerce, professional bodies, and corporations. This includes multinationals and medium-sized corporates, SMEs, and startups from all sectors of the economy. Within the East African region, KEPSA is the national focal point of the East African Business Council, where we also engage the regional governments and work closely with peer apex bodies in the seven Eastern Africa community member states. Uh, in resolving the business issues, with the aim of making the East African community a conducive destination to promote trade and investment. Ladies and gentlemen, the International Chamber of Commerce, the largest business organization in the world, is also our member through the local chapter, that's the uh, Kenya Chamber of Commerce. And through this, we reach over 46 million uh, member companies from more than 100 countries globally. Without all the way, ladies and gentlemen, allow me now to delve into the meat of our discussion today this morning. In the realm of fostering collaborations and advocating for policy dialogue within the circular economy space, the KEPSA has emerged as a pivotal force driving change and innovation. With its extensive network and compassing local and foreign business associations, chapters of commerce and corporations, spanning various sectors that includes multinationals, SMEs, startups, KEPSA therefore remains a key asset. KEPSA launched the Kenya private sector strategy on climate change solutions that runs from 2022 to 2030. The aim of this engagement was promoting coordinated and inclusive implementation of climate change solutions. This is anchored in the pillars such as climate change mitigation, adaptation, resilience, and public-private partnerships. And our vision is to drive investment, awareness, resource allocation towards sustainability. Uh, this to drive green growth. Through initiatives such as the, what we call the P4G, or in full partnership for green growth, and the Climate Business Information Network Kenya, KEPSA is uh, committed to integrating climate action across business value chains, contributing strategically to national climate priorities. This initiative is the gentlemen, are but a testament of our commitment as KEPSA. Ladies and gentlemen, today marks a pivotal moment in our collective journey towards sustainability and prosperity. As we delve into the discussions accelerating circular economy through local and global partnerships and policy initiatives, we are not just shaping the future, but we are also defining the legacy to live for generations to come. Our agenda today, ladies and gentlemen, is not merely about rhetoric or empty promises. It's about action. It's about the commitment to collaborate, innovate, and implement solutions that will safeguard our planet or fostering economic growth and social equity. In a world where sometimes there is uh, competition and division, it is very encouraging and heartening to see leaders from different nations, sectors, and backgrounds come together with a shared purpose. These diverse perspectives, expertise, and experiences is our greatest asset and strength as we confront the challenges of our time. As we embark on this journey, ladies and gentlemen, let us remember that the path to a sustainable future is not always easy, but is undeniable one as we. It requires courage to challenge the status quo and sometimes leave our comfort zone. Let's yield to overcome obstacles and above all, a deep-seated belief in our collective ability to effect positive change. Ladies and gentlemen, together, let us seize this opportunity to forge new alliances and networks, catalyze innovation, enact policies, 
that will transform our vision of a circular economy into a tangible reality. Let us therefore leave behind a legacy that future generations will look upon with gratitude and admiration. In closing, I urge each one of you to approach these discussions with an open mind, a compassionate heart, and a steadfast commitment to action. For it is only through our collective efforts that we can build a world where sustainability thrives, prosperity is shared, and every individual has an opportunity to flourish. It is my privilege and gentlemen that circular approach is not really new in the African context. In many traditions,